Hello, in this quick video, I'm going to show you how to install EVNG onto a VMware ESXi server, and we're going to be using the ISO method, uh, which is the recommended way to get um, EVNG onto a, an, e, um, an ESXi server. It gives you a bit more control. You can decide what RAM and sort of disk space you need. So to do that, you need to go on to the download page of the Eve website which is eve-ng.net and you go you scroll down to the community edition now I would recommend once you've got your head around EVNG the, the um, professional edition is really good that's a paid version that should do so much more um, but to get started with EVNG the free community edition is really good uh, so this is the one you want the EVNG ISO and I've downloaded that one already. So we go into my ESXi server. Now just to let you know, um, for people who are thinking I haven't got a server on it, I need to buy a big server. Um, this is running on a Dell PC with 16 gigs of RAM, uh, just sat in my spare room. And I've got ESXi 6.7 on here and a 500 gig disk. And I can run small topologies on this very happily. So. So yeah, don't think you need to build a server. Um, a, a PC with a, a good amount of RAM in it will will do perfectly fine. So we click on create a new machine, create a new virtual machine, and I'm going to call this EVNG. Uh, you select Linux and you pick Ubuntu 64-bit. I'm going to use my bigger disk here which has got 400 gigs free and I'm going to give it four CPUs and uh, let's give it 14 gigs of RAM and the hard disk is going to be uh, let's say 300 gigs which should be more than enough so you, you are going to be uploading, you know, one or two gig images to this machine. Um, each of your machines are probably going to take, you know, 20, 30 gigs if you're building sort of logging machines. But this should keep me going for a long time. And then the host device here is a data store ISO file. And in my ISOs folder, I've got my Eve ISO image. Now you won't have that there initially, but then you just need to click the upload button and point to your download location, upload the ISO file, and once it's there, you can then select it. And then make sure that box is ticked. So that's all done. This is now gonna create that VM. And we can see down here, this is chugging along. And once that's created, I can power it up. There is a very minimal uh, setup with EVNG to get this running just picking keyboards and locations and network addresses and once it's up we'll log in and I'll show you how easy it is to install um, a virtual machine in it or a network device so just waiting for this to come along there we go so now that's built I just need to power it on And it'll boot up, look for the ISO, and if I just click on that, now we can see what options. So we just hit the enter button here. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I had to click into the console. Click on Install Eve. English, uh, up arrow, I'm in the United Kingdom. And then this just finds the devices. Now I'm doing this to 
uh, install some Palo Alto uh, firewalls. I've got those images downloaded already, so I'll show you in the next video how we, we get them in and boot up and build yourself a little lab. So if you're studying for the exam or you just want to get your head around Paolo, that's a great start. So that's installed now. Um, that's just booted. Uh, picked an IP address. I'm going to call it EvenG. Yep, that's fine. Time zone. Detects the disks. And it just partitions the disk for Eve. And then once this boots, uh, it'll give you an IP address and then you need to point your browser uh, to that IP address. Log in and start building your topologies. Okay, this is installing. I'm just gonna pause it while it installs this because this might take a couple minutes. Okay, that's done the install. Um, then it just says, how do you access the internet? So I don't need a proxy to get to the internet. So I'm just gonna hit continue on that one. So I'm just connected at home. If you're behind a proxy, then you'd have to put it in there. But I assume most of you are doing a just a, a home lab. So setting up EvenG in a home lab is probably the most common use for this because it is just so good. Okay, now I will say no automatic updates to this one because once I've got this installed, I don't want anything to change um, because when it works, it works. And when, when you have it all set up with all your virtual network devices and labs, uh, the last thing you want is an update to come along and just destroy all that. So. You can update EvenG from the command line once you're once it's up and running, so I would recommend doing that way. So nearly there. This is the final pieces of software, and then it'll start to boot. And you can see it's probably you know where are we now? Sort of seven minutes to do this, so we. You can get an EvenG server up and running. I mean, in less than 10 minutes, this is slow, obviously, because I'm running it on my little PC, but if you were on a, a server with a bit more grunt, it would do this a lot quicker. Okay, so this is done now. So it just wants us to continue. And then, then it boots. So this is now booting the actual EVNG server. And hopefully all this should be green. doesn't take very long and once it's up you'll see the Eve logo um, once you've got the Eve logo it's starting the machine and then it'll give you an IP address and, and I've got this connected onto a, a network that's got DHCP so you will have to have something if you want to get this working easily you need it on a DHCP network so it'll grab an address Now, just to let you know, this, this first initial boot up of the machine will take um, a little bit of time. So you, you need to just let this run through. So this has been going now for about five minutes, but uh, it's all good. I'm just going to pause the video a sec. Okay, so we're there. Um, so once that's done, um, you see it comes up here and it tells you the address that you need to go to so that's the address it's picked up uh, for me 192.168.1.129 and the default root password is eve so when you log in i'll tell you what the passwords are when we get there uh, 
So let's just bring up a, a browser. Okay, so just pointed myself to 192.168.1.129. You get this login screen. Uh, the Eve password here is admin and just Eve, E-V-E. -E. And that's where we get to this stage. If you were going to connect into your Eve using SSH, it's root and Eve. So now we're here and we can start to add images, we can start to build labs. Um, but if you click on this button, you can see it says add a new lab. So if I say, um, I'll call this my Palo Alto lab. And that just gives you the blank screen. And then to add network devices in, you go across here and you add an object and a node. And these are all the network devices that you could potentially add into Eve. Now you type in the, so if I type in Paolo Alto, now at this minute in time, you can see these are all grayed out. And that's because we haven't put any of the images in. So Eve does not provide you with images. Um, it provides you with a platform, but you will need to provide your own images. Now I can't tell you um, the best place to get images. Um, if you're doing work for a vendor, then contact them. They'll give you some trial versions of the of the image. If you're not, um, I'm sure you can work out, you can find ways of getting images, but I'm not gonna show you today where to find images for these devices. Um, but in the next video, I'm gonna go through how to install the image onto here, and then we're gonna boot up a Paolo firewall. So I hope that's helpful. I hope you've got to this stage. I hope you've got your EVENG up and running, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.